Hello, and welcome back to Lonely Law Love. Since we've already read the Webberjack on this channel, and there's no special event going on at the moment, I decided I'm going to read through Shalador's library, starting with the literature section. Today, I'll be reading 16 Accords of Madness, Volume 4, Hercene's Tale. Ever proud and boastful, Oblivion's mad prince stood one fifth day of mid-year among the frigid peaks of Skyrim and beckoned forth Hercene for parley. The huntsman god materialised, for this was his day, and the boldness of Sheergorath intrigued him. Rye without equal, Sheergorath holds in his realm giggling loons, flamboyant amateurs, and craven mutilators. The mad prince will ply profitless bargains and promote senseless bloodshed for nothing more than the joy of another's confusion, tragedy, or rage. So it was that Sheergorath had set a stage on which to play himself as rival to her scene. Without haste, the coy prince proffered his contest. Each prince was to groom a beast to meet at this place again, three years to the hour, and do fatal battle. Expressionless behind his fearsome countenance, Hercene agreed, and with naught but a dusting of snow in the drift, the princes were gone to their realms. Confident, but knowing Sheergorath for a trickster, Hercene secretly bred an abomination in his realm. An ancient Daedroth he summoned and imbued it with the foul curse of lycanthropy, of pitch heart and jagged fang. The unspeakable horror had no peer even among the great hunters of Hercene's sphere. In the third year on the given day, Hercene returned, where Sheergorath leaned, cross-legged on a stone, whistling with idle patience. The prince of the hunt struck his spear to the ground, bringing forth his unnatural, snarling behemoth. Doffing his cap, sly as ever, Sheergorath stood and stepped aside to reveal a tiny, colourful bird perched atop a stone. Demurely, it chirped in the bristling gusts, scarcely audible. In a twisted, springing heap, the Daedroth was upon the stone leaving only rubble where the boulder had been. Thinking itself victorious, the monster's bloodied maw curled into a mock grin, when a subdued song drifted in the crisp air. The tiny bird lightly hopped along the snout of the furious Daedroth. Sheogorath looked on, quietly mirthful, as the diminutive creature picked at a bit of detrius caught in the scales betwixt the fiery eyes of the larger beast. With howling fury, the were-thing blinded itself, trying to pluck away at the nuisance, and so it continued for hours. Hercene, looking on in shame, while his finest beast gradually destroyed itself in pursuit of the seemingly oblivious bird, all the while chirping a mournful tune to the lonesome range. Livid but beaten, Hercene burned the ragged corpse and withdrew to his realm, swearing in forgotten tongues. His curses still hang in those peaks, and no wayfarer tarries for fear of his wrathful aspect in those obscured heights. 
turning on his heel, Shiagorak beckoned the miniscule songbird to perch atop his shoulder and strolled down the mountain, making for the warm breezes and vibrant sunsets of the Abskian coast, whistling in tune with the tiniest champion in Tamriel. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment any books that you'd like to hear me read. Again, I am trying to pursue a little dream of mine looking into the voice acting industry and these videos are really going to help me practice. So I really appreciate any support on them. If you want to learn more information about my journey, please check the description and you can follow me on all my socials down there too. Don't forget, you don't just deserve a life. You deserve a happy, healthy, and fulfilled life. Until next time.